Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new Doki Doki mod. And this mod is called Doki Doki Literature Club Keeper of Reality. Now, this is interesting. This mod is very short, so I'm interested to see what is going to happen. You see, we got the, you know, original Fur Girls, you know, Natsuki, Yuri, Siori, and But there's also a fifth girl. She has white hair, looks like she has blue eyes with red pupils. So it's gonna be interesting to see how she ties in to all of this. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. We're not wasting any time. Let's click new game. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Why? Why I I can't got why I can't get him to look at me? Why am I stuck in this endless loop of suffering? Why does he always disappear when I finally have him in my grasp? Why? Who's talking to us right now? Is it Monica? It doesn't matter how much I change this damn game, no matter how much I twist their personalities. The result is always the same. The same bad ending for me. Uh oh. Not anymore. What? Oh, that. Keeper of reality. Who's talking to us? Is it Monica? Maybe? Monica's probably talking to us, or maybe it's that, uh, that chick with white hair. I don't know. Anyway, I hope it doesn't rain. I'm getting ready to go to school after picking up Sayori, of course. But, I look through the window. The day is dark and gloomy, and just by looking outside gives me chills. I have a bad feeling. Ooh. Wow, I thought the day was dark, but this is worse than I expected. I can't even see the sun. Maybe a storm is coming. I have been here for 10 minutes and there's no signal of Sayori. Sayori, my neighbor and childhood friend, has been recently oversleepy and I always have to wait for her. It's always the same. I sigh. I look at the window of her room. But, there's no movement. Maybe I should wake her? When I was about to move, I see someone in the corner of my eye. What the? Oh! It's that chick! It's that white haired chick! What a strange girl. She's looking in a distance while murdering something. I thought I'd pick some of their words. About a very broken game and her entrained so easily. Or something like that. She starts walking and I lose sight of her. She had the school's uniform. However, I am very sure I have never seen someone like her. Hey, it's Sayori! And look, look at the models. The models, look, the models look really cool, guys. Not gonna lie. Where are you looking at? What? Sayori suddenly startled me. W what are you doing? You almost killed me! Come on, Sayori. Sayori's big smile appeared. You were the one who was spacing out. Sayori looks at the cloudy sky with a sad expression. It seems that this atmosphere even affects someone as cheerful as Sayori. I thought you already left. Well, I was starting to consider that idea don't say that me C calm down i did wait for you she giggles yeah i guess you don't have it in you to be mean <laughs> that's not we start making our way to school many other students are talking or take are taking umbrellas with them and i start to consider to go back for one by the way, have you decided on a club to join? Yet? Not yet. Not really. I'm not that interested in joining one. 
Weren't you in a club, Sayori? Ah, yeah. The literature club. Are you even interested in literature? No. Have you even read a book in your life, Siri? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. How rude. I have. It doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago. Siri! <laughs> Don't be an idiot. You were a child then. Who are you calling idiot? Only an idiot would call another one an idiot. Grr. What is happening, grr? Why are we growling? <laughs> we laugh at the same time. However, you shouldn't really join a club. I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize and won't have any friends in the future. Your happiness is more important to me than you think. Don't make me worry. I sigh. Fine, fine. I'll look at some clubs, but no promises. Yay! I'm surprised I let myself get lectured by s someone as carefree as her. But seeing her worry makes me unease. I at least want her to be at ease, even if she exaggerates everything. Why is that? Alright. Nothing really special happens during the school day, so it ends quickly. The day hasn't cleared up though. Clubs. I've never considered joining one. There's an anime club, but considering Sayori's reaction, she would only annoy me until I leave that club. Hmm. Hello? Sayori came into the classroom while I was spacing out, but I realized that I'm alone in the classroom. I thought you were already in your club. Well, actually, I came to help you with your club searching. What? Yeah, well, I thought you could come to my club. What do you think? Well, yeah, there's no way I'm joining your club. Me, me. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. In fact, or the fact that someone chose her as vice president means that the leader is not reliable. Or maybe because she was one of the founding members and she just inherited the title? I doubt her interest in literature even exists. Mine is not even guaranteed. I already told you the club that I would bring in a new member. And Nasuki even made cupcakes, so... So... You have no choice. You will come no matter what. Ah, shit! It looks like I have no choice, guys. Go to the literature club! Sarah takes my arm and starts pulling me. No resisting. What? Don't make me promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. Strange. I know Sarah is an airhead and all, but I don't remember her being this straightforward. Like, she really, really wants me to go to her club. I see. Someone enters the room. What the hell? It's that girl again! The one that was stalking me earlier. It's that white hair girl again. The look on her eyes is very serious. What a sad puppet. Gah. Sayori grips her hand with a pained expression. Oh! What are you doing? Hey, Sayori, are you alright? I rushed to her while she's in pain. Suddenly the girl disappeared. What happened? Tiger? Are you okay? Yeah, it was just a sudden strike of pain, but it already passed. What were we talking about? Ah, you were talking or talking about your club? Yeah, you should come around. Strange. I don't know what happened earlier, but... Yeah, I should stop by for a cupcake. Oh, that girl hurt Sayori. I know it. Oh, jeez. Am I gonna have to fight this chick? I don't know. Is it like... Is she like Monica? Just more powerful? I don't know. 
And thus today marks this day I sold my soul for a cupcake. How sad. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the door. Everyone, the new member is here. Don't call me new member. I glance around the room. Oh, welcome to the literature club. The girl that... Are you the... Are you that friend of... Bah, fuck. Are you the friend of Sayori? That friend? She always says nice things about you. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, no. The pleasure is mine. Hmm. Have I seen this girl before? I feel that I may have seen her around. A beautiful... Like her... A beauty like her... It's not easy to ignore. Easy to ignore. Oh, I think about it. Someone enters. Is she a first year? She's very small. She gazes over me. A visitor? He's a new member, Sayori brought. What? Really? A boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. F f don't say that, Nasuki. Then I see someone I know. Ah, Tiger, what a nice surprise. Welcome. Am I dreaming? I can't believe it. The Dreamed Harem Club. Full of incredible cute girls. Nasuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude is called Nasuki. I don't recognize her. Nasuki was it. Sayori said she's the one who made the cupcakes. Ah, she gets moody from time to time. Don't mind her. Anyway, she's Nasuki. And she's Yuri, the smartest of the club. D don't say things. Don't, don't, don't say that. It's embarrassing. Yuri, who seems to be timid and more mature, makes a great contrast with people like Sayori and Nasuki. Nice to meet you both. And it seems you already know Monica. Monica? That's right. It's great to see you again, Tiger. Monica smiles sweetly at me. We know each other. We were in the same class last year. However, we didn't talk much before. Just enough to remember her. A girl completely out of my league. Smart, athletic, beautiful, popular. However, seeing her smile makes me feel a little... Come sit down, Tiger. We made room for you at the table. <clears throat> All right. You can sit next to Mon me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry. Then, I will make some tea. The girls conveniently have a table with some chairs around it. It seems they were just hanging around reading while Sayori was away as there are some books on the table. And as Sayori said... There is one space next to Monica and one next to Sayori. I can't sit next to my childhood friend, but I would like to know and talk to Monica too. Hmm. I would sit next to... Oh. Of course. Of course, Monica's got. Oh, which one will I choose? Monica, 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 or Monica? It's a hard decision. Uh, I'll go with Monica. Feeling awkward but confident, I sit, I, I sit next to the club president, Monica. Monica smiles sweetly at me while I blush a little. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen of cutely and fluffy cupcakes that look like hats done with icing and pieces of chocolate. So cute! Foo, 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 foo. Why is it glitching? Stop that. Um, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs my first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! 
Sayori talks with her mouth full and icing on her face. I turn the cupcake for the best bite. Hmm. Nasuki is glancing at me. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I find the bite down. And I instantly start coughing. Surprising Sayori and Nasuki, it tastes bad. Not even the chocolate or the icing tastes good. How do you even make chocolate taste bad? Natsuki looks at me clearly offended, but I cannot say it tastes bad directly. S sorry, I was joking. But that didn't convince her. Natsuki snatches the cupcake from my hand and takes a bite too. And unsurprisingly, she starts coughing too. What? Why? I even tasted them before. Sayori quickly intervenes. The cupcakes Natsuki makes are always good and tasty, Tiger, I swear. Yuri arrives with her tea set, not understanding what is happening. I bet you, I bet you that white-haired chick tampered with the cupcakes. She made them taste like shit. Alright, is something the matter? She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us. Nasuki quickly takes one teacup and... Wait, Nasuki, the tea is... She takes a mouthful and burns herself with the hot tea. She spits the tea back into the cup. <laughs> what is happening? I, I will bring some cold water. Yuri doesn't know how to react. So Yuri went for a bottle of water and Monica. She's just watching with a smile. I just take a sip carefully to not burn myself. Yeah, the tea is good. I can pass the bad taste with this. Wait, hold on. I thought that white... Okay, I thought the white-haired chick was somehow tampering with the cupcakes and the tea, but now I'm starting to think Monica's doing it. Shh. Alright, so they're, they're both bad. The white-haired chick, you know, hurt Sayori, and now Monica's tampering with shit. They're both evil. Are, are they going to have a battle? I don't know. Anyway, from the reaction of Sayori and the look of Nasuki's face, I can tell that Nasuki didn't do it on purpose, but Nasuki looks at me with teary eyes. Oh, and runs out of the classroom. What should I do in this situation? Chasing her like the anime doesn't... Chasing her like an anime doesn't <laughs> seem like a good idea. It's a shame. I did not expect that. Yuri puts a sad face. Natsuki's cupcakes are always so delicious. I, I know I'm repeating the same that Sayori said earlier, but... Please don't have a bad image of her. <laughs> That girl. This girl. You are very kind, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri is just trying to impress you, Tiger. Monica, shut up! You probably made the cupcakes taste bad, you weirdo. From Yuri's expression, it seems she felt insulted by Monica's comment. I, I do care for her. It is not just for trying to impress you. Hmm... So she's trying to impress me. Yuri's face gets completely red after analyzing her words. Sayori and Natsuki return to the clubroom. Natsuki's gaze is on the floor. She looks at me. Hmm? What should I do? I quickly take another cupcake from the tray and bite it. This one is good? Very sweet and fluffy? Why is Monica making that face? Look at Monica's face! <laughs> Monica's like, you bitch. Okay, strange. It seems that only my cupcake was bad. See, I just had bad luck. They're very tasty. I can see that are made heartfelt. Good for Natsuki. I show Natsuki my greatest smile and her sad expression disappears. <clears throat> you were just an outsider. She then shows me a cute smile. But thank you. I appreciate it. Ahem. <clears throat> so what made you consider the literature club, Tiger? 
This is weird. Um, Sarah uh, recommended it, and I haven't joined the club yet, so that's okay. You don't have to be shy. You are welcome here. Yeah? It has been a long time since we saw each other, Monica. It should be hard starting a new club, isn't it? Especially a literature club. Well, not many are interested in something like literature or putting effort to start something completely new. But at least you know that the people who join and stay are really serious about this, and I appreciate them. Monica is to a great leader and member. Yuri nods. I see. Everyone gets back to their seats. So, Tiger, what kind of books do you like to read? Well, honestly, it has been a long time since I read a book, so I can't really answer that. I see. Yuri shows a sad smile. But that can change. Isn't this a good chance to try something new? I quickly say as I see Yuri's sad expression. So, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. I hear her laugh. I hear her laugh behind me. Foo, 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 foo. My favorites are novels with deep, complex, and detailed fantasy worlds. The level of cre creativity behind them is amazing. <coughs> she looks through the window. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> ah! My throat is dead, guys. I'm sorry for all the coughing, but... Yeah. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> the way they can take you to other worlds, if only for a moment, and the way you can get the problem in the world is just... Yuri, who seemed so reserved, is taking with such confidence it's obvious she finds comfort in the books, not people. But maybe isn't that just a capism? Well, that was rude. Maybe. Maybe I'm just a coward. Hmm. Are Yuri's eyes getting dull? Something is not right. I clap my hands as loudly as I can and manage to make Yuri jump. I don't think it's escapism. I say clearly. Eh. How do I say it? I think it's not bad to want some rest of your life problems. To go to a different world to experience new things and to walk a different path. If only for a while. And maybe after immersing yourself in those adventures, you can face your problems with a new perspective. <clears throat> or so I heard in some magazine that was take talking about fantasy games and things like that. I'm surprised that I remembered it so clearly. Face your problems with a new perspective, a different world, a different path. I like that. I feel you will be a valuable member here, Tiger. Yuri said with an adorable smile. Monica, though, seemed a little pissed off. I don't know why. I wonder. I wonder why. Lately, I have been reading a lot of horror. <coughs> I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasuki looks at me for a split second. Never mind. You usually like cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What, what? What gives you that idea? Well, considering what you write and read. Don't say that out loud. Fuff. Hmm. Was it so funny? Nothing. I just remember something from a book I read some time ago. First, it was cute and lighthearted about four girls in a high school club. Hmm. It sounds like manga. Natsuki eyes begin to shine, but then, wait, wait, don't tell me I want to read it first. Are you sure? But a small smile creeps on Yuri's face. 
No, it's nothing. I think you will like this story a lot. Sayori slides up between Natsuki and put her hands on her shoulders. What? <laughs> Everything you do is so cute, are you? I'm not cute! Natsuki shakes off Sayori. I can't help but laugh. You really get along. Well, you can say that. Sayori runs to me with a big smile. I get along with Tiger too. You are childhood friends, right? Yeah. Hmm. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Okay, everyone. Now that we have a new member, we have to get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen our bonds. And I think sharing some something between us help us achieve that. What do you suggest, Monica? Hmm, let's see. Monica starts thinking and then she smiles. We've been writing some poems lately, but Natsuki and Yuri show clear distress from the Mon from the Monica's words. They don't like sharing them. I look at Natsuki, why is that? Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Every time I tried something like that ended in utter failure. I would like to see them. N no. She averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident yet. Sharing that kind of writing takes more than confidence. Sp especially with something so personal. Something where you express your vulnerabilities. Then this is perfect. Which would be great to open ourselves yourselves. Let's do it! Ah, uh, what the Oh? Yuri keeps silent for a moment. I I don't like that idea. Monica is clearly surprised by Yuri's answer. It is too sudden. It feels too forced, and I don't like that. Natsuki shows her rejection too. Hmm, hmm, did I saw a dark glint on Monica's eyes? Sayori doesn't know what to say. Monica looks at me slightly troubled. Tiger, do you have any suggestions? Me? Not even a club member, but let's see. It seems that the member of the literature club are not what you would surely call friends. <laughs> Especially Yuri and Natsuki. So getting them to know each other better would help them. Uh, this is a literature club. Wouldn't it be good to know each other, taste the books? Everyone listens quietly. I'm getting nervous being looked by all these cute girls. And I don't know, maybe being... Maybe bring a short paragraph of your favorite book and share it to everyone? The girls pondered the idea, spe especially Monica, with this very serious face. Now, Suki's second to her. I like that idea, Tiger. Do you even read Sayori? How mean. I do. I smile, then I look at the others. I don't think is bad yeah it is a good idea somehow that didn't sound convincing Natsuki expression is hard to read she doesn't seem too happy with the idea hmm okay do it I can't sm help but smile but don't look at me like that Monica stays silent for a moment and then she returns to her cheerful expression okay everyone now that we have an activity to do. We'll share it the next time we meet here. This is a good moment to end the day. Monica beams a cute smile at me. I'm excited to see what you will bring. Uh, but I'm not a member. Yeah. Oh? Ah, yeah. I'll do my best. I feel nervous. I don't want to be the worst one, but I'm lucky to be in the RM club doing something like this is a small price to pay everyone starts picking their things to get back home Sayori approaches me to me 
Tiger, let's get back home. Sure. Yay. Hmm. You live near each other? We literally live next to each other. How convenient. Not for me. F -f 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 well then. I, ha I wave goodbye to everyone and we start making our way home. While, while walking, I start thinking about the girl of, girls of the club. Sayori, Yuri, Nasuki, and Monica. Will I get a chance to get close to one of them? Maybe. However, the bad feeling is still present and I feel something is off. I wave goodbye to Sayori and go back to my house ending my day. Okay. Oh god, the girl's back. This day is not over yet. Oh! Well, it is now. Yawn! <sighs> oh shit, that actually made me yawn. <laughs> I have been looking for the paragraph for sharing with no success. I don't remember any part of any book I read that stands out for me. How lame. And I was the one who suggested this sharing idea. I would have to read a book once again to get something. And I'm not in the mood for that. I'm hungry. I check the fridge. It's almost empty. It's a good moment to go to the convenience store. I will help. It will help me to clear my mind. It's so cold outside and the sky is still cloudy. Why does it look darker than before? There aren't many people at this time of the day, so the streets are rather empty. I wonder, should I choose what I will share to impress one of the girls? Hmm, just with interchange of today I can somehow guess what the girls like. Sarah for example would like something cheerfully and silly. I don't think it would be hard to impress her. Nasuki and Sayori like Nasuki as Sayori said likes cute things. Maybe a simple love story or something like manga. Hmm. Gary stated clearly she likes complex stories that can distract you from reality. Maybe a lot more symbolism. And Monica. What is Monica like? She she was in the debate club, so she's rather intelligent, but that doesn't that that isn't enough to make a guess. Maybe I'll choose something random to see her reaction. Yeah, that will work. If I choose if I were to choose her. Hmm, that is Sayori! Oh, Tiger, what are you doing out here? Just buying some stuff. And you? It's pretty late, you know? Eh. I'm just taking a walk. I was doing the thing for the club after all. You too? I haven't finished yet. You have to do it! Or you'll disappoint everyone. I know, I'll finish it on time. Sarah and not smiles. So, what are you buying? Ah, some food and stuff. I'll come with you, if you want to. We've been talking while talking and choosing in the stores. It has been a while since I spent this much time with Siori. I'm enjoying it though. It's very refreshing. After buying everything I needed, we sat on the bench at the on the way out. Is that me? Look at me. I look handsome as shit. I look like a fucking bodybuilder. No, I'm just saying. I look like a model, man. I look amazing. And I'm happy you had fun today in the literature club. Seeing you get along with everyone makes me happiest. You're exaggerating. With you around, every day will be so fun. I smile. So, what do you think about the girls? It has only been a day. It's still enough to have an opinion. Well, let's see. I think about the girls. They are 
interesting and beautiful. It would be nice to get closer to them. And who knows what can happen in this harem club. The three of them are are very interesting. It would be a good idea to get to know them better. I see. Hmm. Why is Sarah making such an upset face? Did you say did I say something I shouldn't say? Sarah is something wrong? No, it's nothing. And what about me? What? What do you think about... What do I think about Sayori? I mean, she's my childhood friend. I don't think there's more than to that. But, I can't say that directly. Would I like to know Sayori better? I guess? I guess you are very interesting too. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't know the literature club. Also, I think I still don't know a lot of a lot of you so Sarah stays quiet for some seconds and just smiles at me <laughs> thank you tiger makes me feel very happy to hear that I smile back we're going home now I guess good night tiger don't forget to finish that task yeah I know night all right <laughs> I can't stop smiling. He said he would like to know me better. <laughs> I smile like an idiot. I can't wait for tomorrow. I walk mer merrily to my house. Hmm? Is that? <laughs> I sudden a sudden a cure pain attacks my head. It's unbearable. Wait. <laughs> Oh! The another? What? An unexpected. Uh, what? Ignore. I fought him my this. Wait, am I playing as Sayori now? Whoa! I'm playing as Sayori. The pain is getting worse. My vision starts getting black from the pain. What's happening? Oh. I heard a laugh. <laughs> no, Sayori. Shit. What the? Hello? What the hell did you just? I'm here to talk on behalf of. Asha Bloodfall, the creator of this mod. Huh? Thank you for playing the demo of Keeper of Reality. As you can see, the mod is incomplete and it will take some time to complete Act 1. So please be patient. Because of Asher is remaking the sprites of the, sp the sprites of the CG all from zero, it will take more time. In the new version, you will see new spirits, sprites, CG, and music. Alright. What we will what we will what he will do with these old sprites is still a mystery, but Asher will probably give them away to the community once the project has been completed. But it will take some time. Making sprites is a task that takes a lot of time. Also, the script still needs a lot of work. But expect good things in the future. Follow him on Reddit for future updates. And I follow him and follow him on Deviant to see more of his art. Well then, goodbye. End. So that was a demo of the game. I like it. I actually like it a lot. That that's that's really cool. Oh, that that was super cool. So we had this white-haired girl doing things and stuff. We had Monica fucking everything up, you know, getting pissed and stuff. But oh, that was so cool. And then. What was that at the end, yo? At the end, it's like, did Sayori get 
deleted or something? Does Sayori get... I don't know. I think Sayori might have got deleted. But yeah, that was a demo of the game. Doki Doki Literature Club. Keeper of Reality. That was, you know... That was amazing. I like it. But... I'm just going to wait. Once the full game gets released, you know, once, you know, they release Act 1, I'm going to play that because, like, I really love it. This is really cool and it's amazing. So, I'm going to enjoy when the full release comes out. But for now, guys, I'll see you next time in another video. Peace out, dudes.